Hey, Mosaic Souls. Hello, 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 Mosaic Souls. Hey, Mosaic Souls, this is Rachel Alexander, and I wanted to come on here and sort of rant about something that I find to be quite interesting. And I wanted to share a life lesson or just an insight into your value and where your worth and your value is actually derived from. In many societies and many cultures, right, a person's value is placed on what they've acquired, right? It's either, it's outward focused, right? And so it's either the material, the house, the status, right? The prestige or a lot, especially for women, um, if you've gotten married, if you have a partner, or if you have children, right? Your value in other people's eyes sort of goes up. <laughs> and, and, and it's a very societal, unspoken societal norm that I find to be interesting. <laughs> just to say that, I'll just call it interesting. But your value as a human being, a divine being, having this human experience has nothing to do with what you have in your bank account, the possessions that you own, or the humans that you brought into the world or haven't brought into the world, or, you know, any of that other stuff, right? And I find this to be slightly disturbing because I know in my own life, I've definitely been pressured um, by loved ones and stuff like that with the idea that, you know, by choosing to be single, the one thing I really want to focus on is like women who choose to be single or men who choose to be single or people who, whatever, other people who just decide to be single and your value being seen as less than someone who is married or who has a child and stuff like that. I find it so interesting because it's like, I guess it comes from this ideology that, you know, the, the human race must go on. But because we're kind of overpopulated on, as a, on a planet, on the planet, I just find it so interesting that people are still with that ideology. You know, I was watching this movie the other day and um, this wife, like she and her husband had gotten married and they both had made a vow to each other. Don't make vows because we always change. But um, she was like, you know, how they both didn't want to have kids or whatever. And then maybe like four or five years had passed and they were older. And now he was pressuring her to have a kid and she didn't want to have a kid. And she was like, I thought we both agreed that we didn't want to have children. Like what's changed now? And so she's going through all these motions of trying to figure out, you know, if she should have a kid, you know, to appease her husband and his mom and all this other stuff. And I just thought it was so interesting, you know, um, that wasn't the catalyst for this conversation, but it did come up as an example of something that, you know, we as human beings have a tendency to put up with things in order to improve our value or status in other people's eyes, right? And this is a societal norm that I just let go of a long time ago. I think having a spiritual awakening at at such a young age helped me to let go of you know these identifications and I'm not knocking anyone who chooses those paths the people who decide to get married who do ha decide to have children or who do do xyz in their lives or achieve certain things but that person's life isn't more valuable than someone else's life right like it's it, it also brings up this other idea um you know just a few years ago you know black people's eyes like value worth was not worth anything we were worth whatever you know a slave owner would want to ch charge for us right same thing if you think of thousands of years ago the second you know in other areas of the population where other people were sold as slaves not black people weren't the only slaves on the planet right so it's so interesting to me how we you know the whole idea of value and worth right is so tied to all these external things when really when you have a spiritual awakening when you wake up to who you truly are you recognize none of that shit matters right like all these identifications that people place on you oh they're married oh or she has kids you sh shouldn't don't you want to have kids don't you want to get married aren't you going to be lonely no i actually really like myself right if i choose to be in a relationship or if i choose to have kids is because my soul is calling me to do that not because oh i'm going to do it to make you happy or to seem like i I have more value or worth for you you know and I just wanted to encourage anyone else who felt that way like oh my god I find it to be so interesting that this still goes on in our society to me because <laughs> I've moved past it such a long time ago I remember struggling with that when I was in a relationship and feeling pressured from family members you know 
um because i had several times wanted to leave the re- several relationships for various reasons and feeling pressured from like other family members were like oh but isn't this person such a great person and da, 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 don't they do this and you know it's all this sort of externalized pressure like your value like you have no worth or this idea of oh you're gonna grow old and lonely you know what i mean like I find it interesting, you know, like there's so many single people on the planet who aren't necessarily lonely, like especially when you do things that you love to do on the in the planet, like you let's say you love gardening or you love connecting to nature, having necessary, you know, having a connection with something, it doesn't necessarily be need to be to another human being, but having a connection to something is that community for certain human beings certain people don't need to be around a whole bunch of people right like and not everyone is called to be a parent right you know like never not every soul is called to be a parent and and, and in fact i think most of, a lot of people who do have children should probably not have children because they weren't called and they were just moved into it and so they end up being sort of like horrible parents and creating all this trauma in the ch- child's life you know hopefully you know but we all have angels so everything is divine but you know it's just this idea that you know it's just this idea that your worth and your value comes from all these external you know accolades or things or stepping stones or achievements you know and it's just really ridiculous you know so I'd love to know your thoughts on this process in the comments below (laughs) let me know if you've ever felt this in your own life and how you've gone to overcome it in your own life let me know in the comments below and as always flow with what feels good and let go of what doesn't because you are divine peace love and light